All right, we're at uh, John 15. It's raining. Father, we ask as we come before you today that you bring the rain. In Yeshua's precious name we pray. Amen. The latter day. Man. Which is the truth given at the latter time. The revelation of the truth that's been in front of our eyes for a long time. Chapter 15. Verse 1. I am the true vine, and my father is the husband. He's the one in charge of everything. He's in, he, He's the vine, and then the husband is in charge of taking care of the vine. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. So he's telling you, he's the vine, we're the branches off the vine. If you've seen a grapevine, you know, the grant, he comes out of the ground, and there's one main source, and then it grows and and as it grows off, they become branches. And then off of those branches, they become other branches. But there's one source. And if you're not in the source, it's not going to work. Then you're cut off. So if you don't bear fruit, which means if you're in Napa, or you're in the wine country, if you're a branch on a wine, and you're taking water, and you're taking sun, and you're taking food, you better be producing grapes that can be squished in, in a wine press and made into a great wine. Or you're going to snip off. And she was talking about a parable of a great vine the Father takes care of. He is the vine. We are the branches. That's the parable. 15. He of the rain vine, my Father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. So he, like when you're, you're doing roses, you chop them down and they grow more. Prune them. Prune them and take care of them. So if you make fruit, you're pruned and you're sculpted, you can make the best fruit. If you don't make fruit, you're chopped off and you put away. So, verse 3, 15, 3. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. So instead of having to take your feet and wash them, you're clean by the word that he's putting on you. That's the living water that's washing our souls. And then the meat that's feeding us. Now ye, one, three again, I'm going to just read. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. Verse 6. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered, and men gather, and cast them into a fire. And they are burned. If ye abide in me and ask my words, verse 7, if ye abide in me and my words, these words, these are red letters, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Verse 8, herein is my Father glorified that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. And he told us what his disciples were. The ones that continue in his word. The Jews that continue in his word were his disciples. And all the first Christians were, I would say, people from Judah. Which means Jews. It's not a religion. It's from Judea. People fall to her, people who didn't fall to her, but you're from that area. You're Southern California. Back to the word. Verse 9. Let's do 8 again. Whenever I talk, I'll do one verse back. Herein is my Father glorified that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. Continue ye in my love. 
Father loved me, so I have loved you. Continue ye in my love. Verse 10. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love. Even as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. These things I have spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you. So he tells us these things so that the joy that he has and the joy that he knows, like when he says, you know, don't be like the other people, don't worry about your money, don't worry about what clothes you're going to wear, don't worry about, which I didn't buy any of them, it's a long story, don't worry about the food, don't worry about your money, don't worry about other stuff, worry about him, and then don't worry about tomorrow because today is going to bring you enough problems, enjoy the rain, I hope I'm talking about it. it's the latter rain. Instead of concentrating on all the earthquakes, because I see it coming, you know, the only hour just talking about it. It's our three year anniversary today. It's a lot of big verses there. Henceforth, I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known unto you. We're at the 12 minute mark. Here, my friends, if you do whatsoever I command you, henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and are deemed you that you should go and bring forth fruit. You're a branch and you're in the Napa Valley, you better be making grapes. How do you make grapes? You know, you're not a stressed out branch. <laughs> I mean, what makes a branch make grapes and what makes the next branch not make grapes? What makes one Christian change the world and what makes the other Christian say the world's horrible? Other questions for other days. Eighteen. This is the big one. If the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. And I always have to remind my wife about that. The more you talk about this, the more some people are going to hate you. They don't really hate you. They hate what you're saying. They hate the truth. They hate the conviction. They hate hypocrite Bible thumpers that say all these words but can't live it. But can anyone say all these words and do every single thing? The easiest cop out of all time is to call someone a hypocrite because a human being can't follow every single word. If the desire of that person's heart is to follow the words, maybe they are, you know, in some ways hypocrites because they can't do it all. But who can? It doesn't mean you don't try. There's a difference between falling down when you're trying as hard as you can versus saying, I'm never going to do it, or hating God, saying, all them hypocrites. Why? Verse 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, that your fruit should remain. So you should bring forth fruit. And what's fruit to God? Like in 2013, you know, we're at uh, 1221 plus however many days now. Today's 19, so we got 31 plus 19 plus 9. About 59 days after 1221. So a lot of people on this planet thought that 1221 is the end of the world. So 59 days plus. And if I mess up the adding, you know, forgive me. What about now? What should we do, Lord of God? Should we worry about this earthquake that's coming to California? I live on the San Andreas Fault, 15 miles away. You know, is Superman going to come and fix the earth? Should I move? Or should we read the book? Absorb the rain. The Spirit of Elijah, be with us. In Yeshua's precious name, we pray. Bring forth the rain. 
the world hate you, know that it hated me before it hated you. 19. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of this, because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. I know I for one and I have a lot of witnesses. I do not want to follow God and I do not want to follow Jesus. Knock, knock, knock. They just kept about spring of 2000 laid down and I said yes. And here we are 13 years later. 13 and moving on towards 14. And when I was in the world people loved me. And now when I'm talking about this the love has went down a lot. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Now if you're just a Christian, you get to sit in the pew every day, and you get to laugh or enjoy the sermon and walk out and not get on the camera, it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier. But it's worth it. You know, put on the armor, let's go. I have to read the whole book now. I need to pass around those videos. I need the whole Bible on the way. So we're going to do a lot of reading. Here we go. Rain, rain, rain. Verse 20. Yeshua didn't have to read a book. He just got to talk. And then they wrote down his words when they became red letters. Verse 20. Remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will persecute you and me. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. That's an interesting end of that verse. Remember the word that I have said unto you, the, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. Because if you're with him, you're following him. So I know many of you watching this right now, we all study together, we're all following together, we're all trying as hard as we can. We each has the body doing our job. So if you're in His Word and you're doing it His way, we know, because we can tell, because we know. 21. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not Him that sent me. 22. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they would not, they had not sinned, but now they have no cloak for their sin. So what he's saying is, now that you've heard this with your ear, the words that I'm saying, you know. So we have to get to the end and you can't say, you know, God, I didn't know any of those rules. It's not about rules. I didn't know your word. I never read your book. I didn't know your heart. I didn't know how you think. His ways are higher than our ways. But if you read his diary, four, four through men over 4,000 years, 5,000 years, get a pretty good idea of who he is. As much as you can put down in words without being allowed to write yourself. 22. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not, they had not had sin. So if I didn't tell you, like, before Yeshua came, the law was the law. They came from the Ten Stones. And from the Ten Stones, they made 613 rules. 613 commandments came from ten. And Yeshua came and said, Time out! Time out! Time out! It's like all these... Look at the intention of...